Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy M Breezy coming at y'all, man, like I always do around this time. Hey, man, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead right now, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And if you will, share the video so we can help this channel grow. Uh, like I said, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, share the video so we can help this channel grow. Um, I got a question for you guys, man. Where is... uh? Dyke Prescott. Why is that? Why has Dyke Prescott been so quiet in this free agency? If I if I recall, I think about a year ago or so. Uh, do y'all remember when Dyke Prescott said that he want to be a part of uh, deciding on which player to sign? He wants some input on which players he would like to bring into the organization. Where has he been? And do he really have any say so about what uh, about who or what players Jerry Jones, Stevie Jones bring into the, the organization? From the looks of it, man, I don't think Dak Prescott has no input. I don't think Jerry Jones want to hear from Dak Prescott about who he wants to bring inside of this organization because we know Jerry Jones made all the decisions. So I wonder why Dak Prescott been so quiet. Uh, why was why was Dak Prescott so quiet when uh, we got rid of Amari Cooper? Why was he so quiet? If Dak Prescott want to win, if he's so so elite like you guys say, why didn't he try to make an effort to keep Amari Cooper on his uh, on his team? I, I, I'm just just a question, man. Why? Because it seemed like whenever. This, uh, uh, Things, we, things don't go well, man, and uh, in the offseason, and Jerry Jones has to make certain decisions, that Prescott is nowhere to be found. Is that Prescott really the leader of this team? Just a question I put out there. Is he really the, is he really the leader of this team? And this guy says the same thing after every loss. It's um, very, very disappointing. Uh, we weren't able to come out this one. Disappointed in my play. Uh, disappointed for the guys in the locker room. Um, Special team, uh, really is. Um, guys that, that do things the right way, prepare the right way, um, believe in each other, a lot of love. And uh, it, yeah, it's unfortunate, it sucks. This guy says the same thing, he already repeat himself. I don't, I don't call that a leader. I call a leader trying to make this team better. I call a leader is a guy who tries to make sure that he has the pieces that he needs to make himself successful in this league. But my theory is, I think that Prescott is so quiet because he knows. Uh, uh, I think he reached. I think he knows he's reached his ceiling, and he's not going to get any better than what he is. He don't want to get that, put that input in that team because he know it'll be more pressure on him when he fails, like he always do. And he, and he don't want that, that, that blame put on him because if that person got work to per se. If he did have any input, and he decided what receiver he wanted to bring in, and if things don't go right, he knows all the blame is gonna fall on him, 100. percent And he don't want that pressure. That Prescott don't want that pressure, man. That Prescott don't want that smoke. That Prescott is laying low, staying quiet and out of the way because he want all his uh, supporters to put blame everywhere else besides on him. He has what I call the, like the Le Le LeBron and James effect. When things go good, that Prescott get all the credit, just like LeBron James do. But when things go bad, Oh, they get quiet. And all this, all this, uh, uh, the Colts, the Dak Colt, remember, the Dak gang, the Dak gang, they group up and uh, decide they want to put blame elsewhere besides on him, the man that makes all the money on the team. And when, it, when, and when the money is on the line in the playoffs or against good team, this man folds. I mean, I know you guys see it, but you guys act like you're blind. A bunch of blind witnesses. To what's really going on. Um, 
this, that, that will come upon a time, man, when you guys will have to face the fact, man, that this guy is is uh, is all hype, man, and, and he's not what you guys proclaiming him to be. Now, all these uh, that Prescott supporters, content creators, and what have you, what what have you ever, uh. Those guys are quiet too, man. Those quiet. Those guys are quiet. I don't see no content about Dak coming out, man. And uh, those guys know Dak Prescott. It, 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 deep down inside, they know that Dak Prescott is not the guy, but they don't want to. They don't want to hype Dak up because they don't want to uh, look foolish at the end of the season every year and to proclaim that Dak Prescott is this elite quarterback. The guys is not an elite quarterback. He make elite money. He makes elite money. Uh, so, you know, um, this year, man, in the NFC, man, what quarterbacks did you think uh, put it like this? I want to uh, uh, let's go some quarterbacks in the NFC. Let's start with the NFC East. You got Dak Prescott, you got Jalen Hurts, you got Daniel Jones, and um, the Redskins, I think they, they're going to go with Sam Howell, then Minnesota got Kirk Cousins, Bears you got Justin Fields, uh, Detroit you got uh, Jared Goff, um, 49ers got uh, Len, uh, uh, Trey Lance, uh, Brock Purdy. Seahawks, Matthew, I'd say the Rams, Matthew Stafford, uh, Arizona Corners, Kyler Murray, uh, and then you got um, NFC South Falcons. They 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 uh, acquired Taylor Heineke from the Redskins. They signed him this offseason. season. And Carolina. Uh, uh, they still got Sam Donald, but this year in the draft they're gonna they probably go with uh, hearing rumors that they might get um, uh, Stroud or either Brash Young, C.J. Stroud or Brash Young. Um, and the Saints they have uh, just signed Derek Carr. Out of free agents from the Raiders. And, uh, those are the quarterbacks, man, in the NFC. Now, if you if you guys think that Dak Prescott is elite, Dak Prescott should be the best quarterback in the NFC East, without question. This year, Dak Prescott should be the best, the number one quarterback in the NFC this year. So that is Cowboys shouldn't have any problem with the new acquisition that we have on this team. There's no reason why the Dallas Cowboys should not be. The number one team in the NFC. There's no reason. No reason at all. Jerry Jones is cooking. Jerry Jones is in that kitchen. He getting all the ingredients together so that Prescott can go out there and cook. If he's that top chef and he's getting given all the ingredients to make that thing right, just right. This upcoming season should this upcoming season should be the year that the Dallas Cowboys go all the way to the Super Bowl. I'm not saying when, but Dallas Cowboys should be able to go to the Super Bowl this year with all the new acquisition that Jerry Jones just provided for Randy Cole Prescott's since he's so quiet, since he doesn't have any input. Any input. And I haven't heard anybody say nothing about that uh, uh, yet. Try to defend your guy. But uh, like we say, but I, like I'm glad that Jerry Jones is, uh, uh, is cooking. Uh, doing something that he's never did before in the free agency, go out there and, and uh, explore and get and, and get signed guys to come in and help this team. Jerry Jones is, is, is uh, now seeing his mortality, as you will. You know, he knows that he don't, he doesn't have long, and he know he he has to get a Super Bowl in here. So, if that Prescott doesn't get the job done this year. I don't want to hear nothing else about you guys trying to put blame on any other any other uh, uh, spot on the team. Defense, special teams, the kicker, hit a punter, 
And y'all put it, y'all putting blame on everybody, uh, the, the the coordinators, y'all, yeah, the coaches, uh, everything. Y'all, and, and a lot of you guys wanted Mike McCarthy gone. A lot of you guys want Mike McCarthy gone. Wanted him gone for the Dallas Cowboys. Y'all say he couldn't coach. He didn't. He didn't know, he didn't know how to do uh, uh, clock management. Uh, uh, he 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 wasn't making sure Kelly Moore called the right plays and this and the such and such. But now all of a sudden that Mike McCarthy called out Kelly Moore and said that he's going to be the new offensive coordinator. He's going to be calling plays. He's going to bring the West Coast offense into this team. Oh, now all of a sudden you guys have, you know, guy became so infatuated with Mike McCarthy. Well, not, now Mike McCarthy is the man. Now Mike McCarthy is the man for the Dallas Cowboys. You see how fast some of you guys change, man? Some of you guys change, man. It, it just don't make no sense, man. And uh, after eight years, this year, if it don't go right, but but some of you guys said that now that after this season with a new offensive coordinator and new playbook, that now you can start to judge Dyke Prescott to see what kind of quarterback he is. Well, damn, he's going to be damn old as hell by the time y'all figure out what kind of quarterback he is. A lot of you guys just get to start over. A lot of you guys get to start over. Because you've been out here running your mouth, proclaim that you, you that you know everything, that you sound so smart, that you know what's going on, and uh, uh, you've been talking about that pressure got the man, you've been heaping up all this praise, and, 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 and now you guys are scared to start over because you've been running your mouth so much, and, and the shit done backfired. But I'm gonna ride that pressure that ass until he uh, until he start winning, and deep into the playoff, or going to uh, either make it to a Super Bowl. I'm gonna ride his ass. Till he does one of those things, or till he, he till he's out of Texas, till he's ran all the way out of Texas, I'm, I'm gonna hold him accountable because I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of what people say in the comments and uh, uh, subscribers. Uh, uh, see, see, most of you guys uh, depend on this uh, YouTube shit. I'm not one of those guys that does that. I come on him for entertainment and, and for uh, uh, to call it like I see it. That's that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So a lot of you guys come up here and uh, tell all these lies and give all these false narratives and try to uh, uh, fool the people, the fans of the Dallas Cowboys of America's team to uh, uh, put on the blindfolders and uh, uh, act like you don't see certain things that's, that's what's going on. Like you want them to only believe the things that are coming out of your mouth. The things that come out of your mouth sometimes it's not factual. It's not factual. You just want to sign. You want to be so educated on the Dallas Cowboys. You want to be this. You want to be this football god that you want to know what's like. like everybody you want everybody to think that you this this some some kind of a Dallas Cowboy wizard. I get it, man. Most of you guys young. Uh, 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 believe all that. Believe in all the hype. You you gotta. Uh, such a big core group together that all y'all in there think y'all know what y'all talking about and I want to heap praise man hey miss me with all that I'm here to tell the truth I'm a fact teller the fact is that Randy Cota Prescott is not the man for the job for Dallas Cowboys alright and you know want to know why that Prescott is so quiet look at all look at all the interceptions uh, one against the Bears two against Green Bay Two against the Giants, one against Indy, two against Houston, two against Jacksonville, one against Philly, two against Tennessee, and one against the Redskins. So you got like seven games straight with INTs, seven games straight. Look at the yards against the Redskins, 128 yards. All right, those two, those two against the Tennessee and Eagles, 282, 347. All right, but elite elite quarterbacks. Uh, have more yards than this, man. Elite, elite quarterbacks throw for more than this. Elite quarterbacks don't have seven straight games with interceptions. That elite, elite quarterback don't do that. Period. Thirty-seven percentage completion percentage. Six to one, six to six, fifty-eight. I mean, come on, man. You, you're supposed to be elite, elite against the Green Bay Packers, man. The guys didn't make the playoff. Your percentage was fifty-eight percent against the Colts. Didn't even make the playoffs. Sixty-seven percent. The Houston Texans won like three games this year. A quarterback completion was 61%. Redskins, 37.8%. Quarterback, 
quarterback a completion percentage. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, come on, man. Y'all, that's not elite, man. Elite. That's not elite. That's not elite whatsoever. Period. But hey, but that's y'all guy. Y'all call y'all guy elite. Y'all call y'all guy elite. It couldn't even, uh, uh, was straight horrible in the playoffs against 49, 49. But you went out and beat Tom Brady, a team that was, had, what, lost about five or six straight games, barely made it to the playoffs to the wild card team with a banged up team. Dyke Prescott, when he showed out, oh boy. Football guards have came down the best Dyke Prescott over the Cowboys on the road. In the next game, against a, a good team with a winning record and a good defense, Dak Prescott returns. The old Dak Prescott that everybody know, known and loved returned again and was home. One and done in the playoffs. Two playoff victories in going on eight years for Mr. Elite, Randy Carter Prescott. And he's so quiet. I don't blame, if I, I don't blame him, I'll be quiet too. Because, because if I know that if I know that what I can do and know my limitations and I know I'm not the guy to get the job done and I'm the guy that is caught this team to lose, I'm just going to be quiet too. I'm just going to be quiet. I'm going to run and hide. Let Jerry Jones do all the shopping, do all the cooking because my input don't mean nothing because I can't even show out. Show up and show out. All the Every time we go somewhere and lose, it's all because of me, not because of the defense. 12 and 5, two years in a row. Dallas Cowboys been 12 and 5 for two years in a row and got one playoff victory. One playoff victory. Let that let, let that marinate for a minute. Let that marinate for y'all. Uh, number one, that pressure got supporters. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. Now we got Brenda Cook. Bonafide weapon with City Lamb. Michael Gallup should be have full recovery. Three weapons. Three weapons. Jones and Pollard. Now Jones is now Jones don't now Jones is not a fluke. Now he, he the guy the guy can run. He's only twenty five years old, uh, but he does have a fumbling problem. He does have a fumbling problem. But uh, let's help, let's hope we can keep that under control. Let's hope we keep that under control. And um, let's just hope that Matt McCord is gonna do what he said he's gonna do. Run the ball first. Keep that Prescott throws down to a minimum, 15 to 20 times a game, at least 20 times a game, no more than 20, because we know what happens if you go past 20 to 25, we know what's going to happen. So hopefully we can get that uh, running game going, keep the ball out of Prescott's hands as much as possible, and we're going to see where it's going to go. But I, I want you guys to come over here, man, and support your guy. Support your guy, Dyke Prescott. Support the, the, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, uh, highest paid man on the Dallas Cowboys. Your leader, come support your leader, y'all. You guys, I want you guys, the YouTubers, to come support your guy, cause you guys are hiding and you're ducking from the truth. I want you guys to come out, come out and tell the truth about your guy. That's all I want you to do. Come out and show your support for Dyke Prescott, because right now you're hiding, you're hiding. You don't want to put that pressure on Dyke Prescott. But uh, hey, it's gonna come. It's gonna come. I'm gonna keep that foot on that neck. I'm gonna keep that foot on that neck until something good happens. But until then, hey, y'all already know what it is with me. But like I say, man, hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share the video. Uh, leave me a comment down below. And, uh, tell me what you tell me why you guys think that uh, uh, these that press got supporters uh, continue with. Content creators are so quiet about Randy Carter Prescott, and tell me, uh, uh, tell me why you think that Dak Prescott uh, don't have no input on the team like he said he's supposed to have. He hopes he can get from Jerry Jones. Hey, it's your boy Breezy, man. Until the next time, man. I'm out. Uh -huh.